New tonight, the Atlanta Police Department released some surveillance video tied to a recent homicide to help catch a killer. Check this out here, folks. Police want you to identify this person walking up the stairs, approaching the stairs, seen walking up to an apartment building wearing a number two Atlanta Falcons jersey. Police believe this person may have information into a deadly shooting of Rashida Williams, better known as Coco the Doll. Now, her body was found Wednesday night on right off of Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, and that's where we find 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn tonight. So, Cody, you spoke to a friend of Williams, and what are they hearing about her homicide? So it's their understanding that Williams met somebody at a nearby mall at some point, got into a vehicle with this person, and then was shot. Her body dropped off here, where there's now a makeshift memorial outside the Holmes Plaza Center. She was a beautiful soul, very caring, very giving, very warm. And she was living her truth, and she's a beautiful light and, a, like, a big part of my heart. A light now darkened and a heart crushed. Not the way that I wanted my sister to leave this world. Rashida Williams was shot. Her body left on the side of the road. A life robbed from her at only 35 years old. She had a lot of goals and hopes, and she was just a very positive, sweet person that was stuck in the struggles of being a black trans woman in America. Dominique Silver knows the struggle all too well. The two met thanks to their roles in the award-winning documentary, Kokomo City. Kokomo City is about the struggles of the black transgender community and dealing with the struggles of sex work and the dichotomy within the black community, pretty much. Because I want people to understand just being something that you was born to be. Like, how can people look down on you and say things? And it just really hurts me deeply to the core that she didn't get a chance to see the movie, live it, play its course and succeed in what she wanted to succeed in. Silver says even in death, Williams's fight to protect her community shines even in the darkest hours. We have to work together as people, as humanity, to really stop these issues and protect black trans women at all costs. We really need to do better. It's hurting us to our soul and we are human beings at the end of the day. Williams didn't shy away from being a sex worker. Kokomo City really did showcase the struggles that black trans women found themselves in and find themselves in today. Because Silver says, look around, there's not much for traditional employment for them. So that's how they find themselves in these situations they work so hard to try to get out of.